Hey guys, it's your Joe 93 and we got a lot of Superman stuff to talk about today. So, the other day, for Superman's birthday, I made a tribute, guys. It includes musical clips. Um, it's got clips from Superman and Lois Season 3. It's got clips from um, Smallville, and it's got clips from Zack Snyder's Justice League. So, if you guys haven't checked that out, please check that out. That's a little disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Hmm. One second, guys. It's going to be a long day. Um, but on top of that, we also had news for James. As James Gunn promised, as they started filming Superman Legacy, um, we started getting news about Superman Legacy. But guess what, guys? Superman Legacy is no longer Superman Legacy. It's now just Superman. Now, a lot of people have problems with this. A lot of the people like the name Superman Legacy. A lot of people think it's kind of going to confuse the general audience. That it's called just Superman. To me, I don't think that's an issue. I feel we've had a lot of Superman over the time, and that you could present that in that way. But this is a new era DC Universe movie, and not everyone will know. But just calling it Superman, I think is fine. I mean, I take a little issue with it because I think that Legacy added something to make it distinct, to make it feel like it would be more interesting, and you could separate it from the other Superman movie. You have to remember, even before Henry Cavill played Superman, we had the Richard Donner era of Superman. It was Superman, Superman 2, Superman 3, Superman Quest for Peace. Like, titles kind of make movies matter and feel distinct. So, I, I don't really approve of this choice, but I'm not upset about it at the same time. It, it's whatever. I, I'm not James Gunn's boss at Warner Brothers. I can't change it, so... Whatever, it, it is what it is. Um, we're getting a new title. It's now Superman. So James Gunn's Superman film is called Superman. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Now let's move on to our next topic. We also got the new logo for the suit. Now we don't see the whole suit, but I get the similarities between Cavill's suit and also a little bit of Kingdom Come Superman uh, here. And it's looking really nice. It's a really nice logo. It looks crisp. It it definitely works for me. I definitely think it is a good a good logo, and I don't have any criticism of it. I feel I'd like to see the whole suit, but personally, I like what we got. So I think this is really cool. We know Superman is now filming. Um, it's going to have a three hundred million dollar budget, which to me is absurd. Okay, well, let me just address this right now. Okay, Dune's only what is it a hundred and eighty five million, which is a lot of money. And and then Joker 2 is freaking which I, is supposed to come out this year, I believe, is is, is freaking 200 million. But what are they going to do? Is Joker going to be dancing on top of the the big cities in New York State building with Lady Gaga? Is Lady Gaga going to be performing concerts as Harley Quinn? Well, why do we need this big budget? Like, I don't get it. And then with this movie, okay, Jan's gone. Marvel paid you a lot of money to do good things. You did cosmic stuff with Guardians. You're now on Earth 90% of the time. You're not in space. So the spectacle theory isn't going to be the same as you think it is. So I better be seeing Nathan Fillion's Green Lantern alongside the Authority and Superman flying around, shooting lasers, kicking ass, taking names, because that's absurd, okay? I, I, I'm a little worried about that budget, because if, you don't, if this movie does not succeed, then that could be very bad for the company of... Warner Brothers and DC. I mean, I'm trying to look at this positively, but 300 million, dear Lord, like what? And you are... Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Negasonic Teenage, what the shit? Like, I just don't understand, okay? So hopefully, I'm sorry, James Gunn, I hate to compare Warner Brothers films. If your movie doesn't look as good, if your cinematographer isn't as good as James, isn't as good as um as Dennis Villeneuve, uh, who does Dune, then if it doesn't look like Dune, you should be concerned about that money. Because honestly, Dune looks good for the money they made off it, and we'll talk about that later because I will be having a review for Dune 2 later today. So look forward to that, guys. I'm very excited to review this movie. But yeah, back to Superman. Okay, so yeah, I have issues with the budget. I want it to be worth it. If you can justify that budget based on how many characters there are. I mean, you're selling this as a Superman movie 
We heard other reports kind of hint at this is kind of almost like a mini Justice League movie. So I'd like some clarification on what exactly is going on here personally. That's my thoughts. All right, so our final topic of the day we got to talk about is we got a new casting. That's right, guys. Superman's getting ready to film, and they're still announcing castings. We finally know who's playing Perry White. And it's surprising, even though in the comics, Perry White is white, for the DC movies lately and other iterations of the comics, they've been making him black lately. Um, and we got an actor for him, and I'm not very familiar with the actor until I looked him up. So his name is Wendell Pierce. Wendell Pierce will play Perry White in James Gunn's Superman. Writer-director has found the person who wants to be the editor of the Daily Planet in his new Superman, his new superhero outing, which will be out July next year. So Wendell Pierce is known for being on The Wire. Um, the movie has started shooting. Uh, Perry White is writer slash director. Um, so that's a pretty big deal. Um, the cameras are now rolling on James Gunn's next superhero outing. His first as boss uh, of DC Comics-based movie universe alongside Peter Safran. Once titled Superman Legacy, now simply called Superman, represents his vision for the crown jewel character of the DC world. So, of course, that has led some new casting decisions. Of course, we're going to go over, you know, we know Cornset's playing Superman. We know Rachel Brosnahan is playing Lois. Um, now we know who will be playing their boss, um, Perry White from The Wire and Jack Ryan, um, Wendell Pierce. So what can I say about this? Okay. Now, acting-wise, I don't know much about Wendell Pierce. If he's on The Wire, they picked someone who's going to be really good at yelling, and they picked someone who's going to be very good at telling Superman what to do. And really, that's all it comes to with Perry White. Would I love someone like Ice Cube or someone crazy like Samuel Jackson? Absolutely. But I'm sure James Gunn is more concerned about delivering banger performances. And he probably wants this to be more serious. So yeah, I think Wendell Pierce is a good is a good casting for this. I mean, this isn't the biggest casting for this movie, but it's pretty exciting. I think it's cool. So anyway, guys, these are my thoughts on the news of Superman. Share your thoughts. What did you think about what I had to say about James Gunn's Superman movie? And what was your favorite part of the video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like what you see here and you want to see more, like, share, and subscribe to see more. And I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great day.